The world of GTA Online has a lot to offer, and with many of us having jobs, school, or having to deal with strict parents, we aren't able to see all there is to see. So in today's video, I wanted to test myself by only allowing one hour of game time per day for the span of a week. My ultimate goal for this challenge will be making as much money as possible and as much progress as possible. Oh yeah, and I'm also going to try and complete Kaya Perico. Wish me luck. Hello everyone, welcome to day number one of the one hour a day GTA challenge. Now, as it is day number one, we are starting on zero dollars and have no XP. We are level one as usual. So we're going to have to get started somehow. And I have an actual list that I've written out. So you can't really read it. You can try if you want to. I have an actual list of things that I plan to do in the first hour and the first day to try and give me the best start possible. So as you can see, there is a timer right under my webcam. Once that hits one hour, we're going to stop everything we're doing and wait 24 hours to tomorrow to uh, play again. So why don't we get started? I will start the timer right now and we can get into the first task, which for me at least is going to be robbing a store. I, I love starting out robbing stores in GTA. It, again, I've said it before, but it's kind of like in Minecraft where you punch a tree for your first task. It feels very nostalgic and I just enjoy doing it. So we've stolen uh, the worst car possible. I don't even know what this is, the ingot, but we need to rob a store to get a little bit of money because our first task is going to be finding a Sentinel XL or XS. I always forget what the exact name of it is and making it my own. You good, sir. He nearly did kill me, but we're fine. He, he nearly got me, but we're good. So that's going to give us just over a thousand dollars. Okay, now hopefully the cops will leave us alone uh, eventually, but we're going to be heading over to Rockford Hills to try and find a Sentinel XL or XS. I probably should remember what the name of the car is. I've used it before and I have it written down, but my brain does not work half the time. So now as this is the first like real like timed challenge in doing, like the oppressive video was timed, but like, let's be honest, I could have done it much faster if I was smart. Since this is timed, I have to be just as efficient as possible with doing these tasks. I only have an hour each day for a total of seven hours over the course of a week to make as much money as possible and as much progress in the game as possible. So I've very much laid out exactly what I want to do on uh, my little piece of paper here because I need to be very, very specific with what things I buy, what things I decide to do if we're going to reach the goal, which if I haven't said it already in the intro, my goal is to complete one Kaya Perico run within the seven hours slash seven days on this account. That is the goal. I hope I can achieve it, but it's yet to be seen. Now I need to find myself a Sentinel. I need to find one very quickly. I think last time I did it on the oppressor video, it took me about five to 10 minutes. Hopefully I can get it a little bit quicker here, but with the police on me, uh, it's not looking too great. And I also kind of don't want to die to the cops because I think you lose money even if it is only a tiny tiny bit I don't know okay yeah maybe we just get killed here maybe it's not worth the hassle Hello, mate. Thank you. Now we can uh, look around more freely without getting uh, you know, abused by the police. Now, a lot of people in the comments on one of my other videos said I could also use the Banshee for getting a free HSW vehicle. However, the Banshee's price is 105000 now. I don't know if that was changed recently. So you can't actually take it off the street. And at least with my account, I don't have the option to buy it for free in any of the stores. I think that's because I don't have the Criminal Enterprise starter pack on this account or something. But unfortunately, I can't use the Banshee unless I, you know, pay $105,000, which is very much uh, a waste of time. So the Sentinel is the vehicle that makes the most sense for this challenge, although it is currently still evading me massively. Could you please show yourself? It's nearly been five minutes and I still have barely done anything. I only have an hour today to get stuff done. So like someone please show up with the Sentinel. I really, really need it. Please, 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 please. Like it is a little bit of a rare vehicle. I do know that it's not like a super, super common one, but still you would think driving around this much, I'd be able to find at least one, but that does not seem to be the case. The video is in the mud. We're going to fail the challenge. Challenge. There's no way we're going to do Kaya if we can't even find a single car. Oh my god. Finally! That took me 13 and a half minutes to find the vehicle I need. That's not it. Why, why did I think? No, don't try and attack me. I don't, I don't mate. I'm, I'm in a rush right now. Why did I think that was it? Why am I dumbass? 15 minutes in. We are really wasting day one, aren't we? We are. We are very much wasting all of our time trying to find a stupid vehicle. Like it will be worth it in the end. Um, just so far, it's, it's not. <laughs> so if you couldn't already tell, this search is going terribly. So I want you guys to pause the video and put your predictions in the comments for how long it takes me to find this vehicle. You done yet? Well, unless you guessed I didn't find it, you were wrong. Because yes, after an entire goddamn hour of searching, and I searched for the whole hour, I did not find it once. Here's my reaction, I guess. One hour. One hour! One hour! 
Yes, that is me screaming on the floor like a child. I was in distress, okay? No, 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 no. There's no way. 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 Is that it? Are you fucking kidding me? Right after the hour mark. Oh, this game hates me. This game's actually a troll. Look. Sentinel. Oh, fuck you, Rockstar. Oh, man. Why? What do you mean? After a whole hour of searching for this goddamn shit car, it shows up now? Dude, come on, really? So since day one was such a monumental failure, I made the executive decision to just restart and do it again so I actually had a video. Don't hate me for it, okay? Okay, welcome to attempt number two. Uh, it is only about five minutes after attempt number one ended, so I am still filled with rage. And as you can see, I do have $155 in my bank account, which I know isn't zero, but I could not give less of a shit. I've decided to, instead of trying to find the Sentinel excess, I'm going to purchase it instead, which if we go ahead and take a look at Southern San Andreas Super Orders, it is actually not too expensive at only $60,000. So I have a rough plan of how I'm going to go ahead and get that. Unfortunately, it means we're gonna have to do a bit of other work to get more money for other things but we'll just get to that when we get to that it's better than spending a whole goddamn hour searching for a vehicle now i have actually randomly spawned outside of simeon's auto so i'm actually going to go in and use the cars there to traverse myself over to the bike time trial for this week so if you didn't know you can come in here choose a car of your choosing i'm going to go with the fastest one possible of course and take it for a test drive and then once you're at your location you can just exit the vehicle and it will plop you right where you're finished. So we can return the vehicle by holding down triangle or Y. We'll be able to spawn right here and we're at the location. Now, just before I get into this, I'm actually going to go ahead and make use of the free garage that we can purchase from Dynasty 8. So go low to high, purchase that bad boy. Now that that's done, I'm going to go over to Legendary Motorsport to go to Motorcycles and Salt. And there is a free bike that I'm going to get just for quick traversal around the map. It'll be quite useful in these early days. And by days, I mean minutes just to have. But here we go. Junk Energy Time Trial. Again, this is going to be quite difficult with low stamina but we will do our best as you can see my stamina bar or my health bar has already gone red which is not a good sign at all but to be fair it's not the race in general that's going to be a struggle it's specifically the jump towards the end which if you've done this one uh you know it's not the best we're going to get over this jump which we did oh my god it's going to be close Oh my god, what did we beat that by? 134, 758, 250ths of a second we got that in. Stressful, but we'll take it. Now I'm going to go ahead and fast travel by switching sessions to my garage. I can get on my bike and then I can head up to do G's cash to get hopefully around $15,000 so we have enough to buy the car. Although I am slightly hoping that on the way to driving to where G's cash is, I might find the car. That would be much better, um, but I'm not going to take my chances because you saw the first part of the video. I spent a goddamn hour doing it. Right, it changes on different characters. It was over here at the university. Now it is at Polito. Yay. Yeah, I ain't going there. So instead, what we're going to go ahead and do is actually just go over here and do a parachute mission. We can do these. I think they give you 5,000, 10,000 each. Maybe more than that. I don't even really remember. But we can do these to get a bit of extra money. We only need $10,000 to buy the vehicle right now. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Going to jump, pull the parachute straight away, and uh, just hope these give us enough money. And... Perfection. $5,000, that's pretty good. We can go ahead and do another one. I'm tempted just to go over here just for like two or three minutes just to see if I can find the Sentinel. However, I'm not going to spend any more than that. I think we'll drive over there. And by the time I get to like maybe 12 minutes on the clock, if I don't find one, I'm just going to go ahead and go over to the casino. But first of all, let me just give a quick little few minute try to find this vehicle. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you it? Are you it? Let's go! Sentinel XS! Oh my god. Okay, it's on, baby. This run is on. I know it's supposed to be like a realistic thing about like how I show you how the average person can play GTA. I don't give a f Like <laughs> that that first trial made me want to end my life. So um, I'll take this and you can roast me in the comments all you like. I don't care. Let's go ahead and make it ours. Then let's head over and do Hal's time trial so we can get access to HSW. Oh, okay. So repair vehicle. Yeah, and we want to go down to Lost M Thing $2,000 tracker. Oh, finally. 
Finally, it feels good to be accomplished for once in my life. It's only been nine minutes and we could still fail this video completely, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, how? Let me in your nice car. Oh, it's going to be great driving an actual good vehicle instead of this Sentinel XS, which I, I have to use afterwards anyways, but oh well. Okay, can, uh, can we skip the cutscenes? No? Okay, cool. I'll just... Again, it is nighttime, not the best conditions for this, but uh, should be fine. I've done it enough times. I'm a good driver. So if you can't tell by now, yes, unfortunately, my strategy for this video is only available to next gen consoles because we're doing HSW. I'm sure there are methods in a non next gen that can be very good for making money off the start. But just because I have access to this, this is what I'm using. Everything else in the video, I think pretty much apart from the HSW thing is available to everyone else though. So if you just find an extra way to make $250,000 at the start, whether that's doing the flight school or something else, or just doing random missions or joining a heist, then you can follow this guide, which it kind of is, I guess, completely otherwise. There we go. Okay, long, boring, shitty cutscene over. Mimi, let me join your crew, please. Uh, buy membership, lovely. Get to my car. All right, HSW upgrade for free. Sensational. And we don't really have enough for anything else, I don't think. I don't think so, at least. Transmission. Definitely not. Engine, nope. Brakes, no. Let's change the color because it's it's boring. I know we're in a time rush right now, but um, I don't really care. Gonna go with that and a ice white, sure. It looks passable now at least. Uh, Time to head over to the time trial, which uh, I really just hope I can get within like one or two attempts. Now I've had this video idea for a while, but I picked to do it this week because of the HSW time trial that we have this week. The issue is with doing this type of video where I'm using a base HSW car to do the time trial is a lot of them are very, very, very difficult to do with a vehicle so shit. Uh, so I kind of have to pick and choose which one I think is possible. And this one is one of the easiest in my opinion. So that's why I'm doing it now. I think you can technically complete all the HSW races with like a shit car because the time changes based on which one you have, but it's uh, it's not easy. And I'd rather not spend 30 minutes raging in a video when I could spend two minutes doing it quickly and then getting it over and done with. Uh, this car does not feel very fast at all. I am extremely terrified. There's also Sentinel right there and another one right there. Okay, why didn't I come here last time? Now, this time trial is going to take us over to here and I think it's like a one, yeah, one minute 32 to complete it. So, um, wish me luck. Now I need to be very conscious of vehicles making stupid turns into other lanes because they love to do that on this game. But otherwise, I think we should have it. I'm like that, you dickhead. No, 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 no. Oh, dude, come on. I had to move because that stupid truck. Um, tw oh, 22 seconds. Can we make this? I, th oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Shit! Oh, I have to restart. No, this, I know it's only a minute and a half, but it's such an annoying time waste when that happens. All because that truck had to swing out of that f***ing thing and I had to crash into a wall, man. And now the car's dented as all hell. And it's raining now as well, which means it's more slippery. Oh, this is going bad. Oh, that is a bad car spawn. That's a really bad car spawn. Okay, that's fine. Managing to keep up speed pretty well. I'm definitely going to slip out though, aren't I? All right, that's good. That's so much better than last time. Just no stupid mistakes and we got this. And bish, bash, bosh, there we go, 250,000 in the bank. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is head over to Dynasty Real Estate. And you may be wondering, why the hell are you doing that? You already have a garage. Well, I'm going to be buying this place in Blaine County. Oh, we can only have two properties. Never mind, I'm not going to buy that one. I am, however, going to buy this one in Grapeseed. You might be wondering, why do I want to buy a random garage in Grapeseed? Well, one, because I do actually need three vehicles, or I want to have three vehicles for this run. But two, that gives me the ability to basically fast travel over to Blaine County, which is what we're going to be doing in a second. Now, do I have the email about the treasure hunt just yet? No, I do not. So instead of doing that, we're going to get out of our vehicle here because I don't like it very much. I'm going to go ahead and switch my spawn location to Grape Seed and head over there right away. Now, for the rest of the video, my plan is to start up every treasure hunt. That means the Maud bounty hunts and then the two other actual treasure hunts. Try to complete as much of those as possible uh, within these 30 minutes. That's basically it. Now, is my bike going to be outside? I, I called my bike specifically, so so it will travel with me. Um, it didn't. So that was just a waste of time. Cool. And I have to wait to request it. Cool. That was just a, a massive waste of time. Uh, so we're going to want to go to Maud right away, which is pretty close. Then after that, I'm going to want to drive over to this location to start another treasure hunt. And then just basically do that for the rest of 30 minutes. Try and get as far as we can and then continue on day two. Come on, Maudy girl. Okay, there we go. Hello, stranger. We can go ahead and open that. And she should start sending us bounty targets. Get one of the action figures for an extra thousand dollars 
because it can never hurt. All right, so we come over here for clue number one. Can you find me? You bet your damn ass I can. And then we start the treasure hunt. So clue number two is over here. All right, clue number two. Can't see it because there's grass in the way. Brilliant stuff from Rockstar, but it is a severed hand. Now clue three is going to be over... Which building is it? This building. And I'll check once again for a helicopter because again, it would be useful, but it doesn't seem to want to spawn for me for whatever reason. Maybe I'm too low of a level. Not exactly sure. Oh, nope, there's a helicopter. This is very much the wrong building. What, what am I on about? Yeah, apologies. That was just completely incorrect. You actually want to come over here. Walk up to the machete or whatever the hell it is. Get that clue done and clue number four should be, or it is, over here in Polito. Now I am noticing neither Maud nor the other treasure has messaged me, which is slightly concerning. I have had it glitch out before on another account and I really don't want that to happen on this one. God, I can't see a thing. Look at the fog. What is going on? Playing Transa over here. So it's a Black Ops 2 Zombies reference if you didn't get it. All right, Dark Brotherhood. There we go. We know. And now clue number five, uh, as I've mentioned before in previous videos, can be in one of five locations. There is one somewhere around here, one under the military base, and then three on this side of the map. I'm going to go to the other side of the map first. Might be a mistake, but they're the locations I know off by heart. So I'm just going to hope for that it's there. And after 15 minutes of searching later, because I checked every location, but not every location in the correct spot, because I'm an idiot, I finally managed to find it. Oh, there it is. Oh, thank God. Oh, I thought it wasn't here as well. There we go. There's there's the van. God, why, why did that take me so long? Oh, and also in between looking for this, I managed to do one of Maud's bounty contracts. So we have one out of five of those done as well. 55 minutes, only five minutes left to try and do as much as possible. We're not really going to get much done. We have a, a bold man uh, that is way too out of distance. That's fine. We're going to just go ahead and get this treasure or the, the gun from this guy or whatever the hell we have to do. Oh my God, we actually got it. Oh yes. Oh, it took to nearly the end of the video, but we got the final treasure hunt location. I'm very happy about that. Very, very, very very pleased. Where am I going? I got distracted. I'm sorry. I meant to be going to the airstrip, which I just flew completely past. But that's good. We have all three treasure locations or all three treasure hunts started. I haven't made much progress on them, not nearly as much as I would have liked to in this video, but it's fine. Tomorrow's the new day and hopefully tomorrow goes better than today because today was awful <laughs> in every respect possible. So now we just wait here for the killer to hopefully show up. Hopefully he won't take too long. Buddy, oh boy, where are you? Come out and get some. I hear someone. Hello. There we go. Navy revolver, 50,000 in the bank, and I can get another 250k or 200k or something when I finish with that. I then went ahead and started the other treasure hunt and completed one of the other clues as well. You'll see on the next day that this was a complete waste of time, like most things I did in this video. So that's great, I guess. One out of three clues discovered and 10 seconds left. We ain't really going to be doing anything else. So why don't we just wait here and reflect on how terrible today has been? Okay, that's all it deserves. And... There we go. One hour done. We have gotten a HSW Sentinel XS. We have bought a free garage and also a garage in Sandy Shores. We have gotten a free bike. We have started all three treasure hunts and we have $310,000 in the bank and we are level nine. That is day one. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, boys and girls, it is day number two of the challenge, and there are some positives and some negatives I have to warn you about. So let's start with the bad news first. I didn't realize, but if you don't complete the treasure hunt when you get it in a session, you have to wait and restart it. So the second one that I started last episode where I went to the boat and everything and found the shovel, I have to restart it, wait for the text and do all that, which is a bit annoying. I also have to wait for the bounty contract from Maud to come in again. That one doesn't take as long, so it's not that big of an issue, but it is there. Those are the only negatives. Now for the positives. I start to this challenge on a Wednesday. Day one was on Wednesday, now it is Thursday, which means we have the weekly update that just came out, which means I get the HSW time trial again, so I can try and get some more money from that. Now, as soon as I exit to my building here, I'm going to start the timer and we have one hour to try and complete as much as possible. I'll let you know what I'm planning on doing in today's episode as we progress through it. Why did I say today's episode? Like this is a different video. Okay, we are started. So first thing I want to do is call my mechanic as quickly as possible and get my Sentinel XS so I can try and do the HSW time trial. Unlike the the other time trial in day number one, I have not practiced this one with this vehicle. However, I do think it is possible. Like I, again, I think every single HSW time trial is possible with any of the HSW vehicles because it's made that way. However, it doesn't mean it's going to be easy. So we'll give it maybe one or two attempts. It is a pretty long one. So 
you know, I don't want to waste too much time on it. But if we can get an extra $250,000 in the bank account as soon as possible, that's only going to be helpful. Okay, there we go. There's a bounty target from what I'm all over the place. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I might as well just drive over there now. And while I'm driving over there, I'm actually going to hit up the custom shop, the LS Customs, to see if we can upgrade this video vehicle just a little bit to give me a bit of extra help when it comes to completing the time trial because I don't want to waste time failing it over and over. It'll be a huge time loss. So I'd rather just spend a little bit of money to upgrade the vehicle. I'm going to get money back anyways from doing the actual time trial. So it's not a huge issue to me. And then hopefully that will be a little bit more efficient for us. Then you go ahead and do the bounty target. And then after that, I might try the time trial because I am planning to go down to Los Santos and it will take us there. So that's probably a smart thing to do. Now, I don't know how much upgrade oh i can actually just get level four you know that's worth it to me that is completely completely worth it to me uh i need brakes as well i'm gonna yeah max upgrade this transmission yes can't get turbo on it from here but i think that's all we need right so we have a pretty upgraded car now this is gonna come in handy for the time trial but also just for you know getting around the map it's gonna be really useful to have a faster vehicle and yeah there's a massive difference already i am very glad i did that cost me about sixty thousand dollars but if we complete the time trial we get that all back okay so now we need to find this woman there we go yeah, so by the end of today's episode, I would like to have every single one of the challenges done. All the gun challenges for the treasure hunts, which means like a hunt means like 75 kills or something. No, sorry, 125, I think. Because I think it's 50 with both the guns, 25 with the melee weapon. So that will take a while. Hopefully, hopefully I can manage it. I think I do know where this one goes, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, that is the one I thought, but we'll restart it anyways. Give us the best chance actually completing it. Now, I don't think there's many tricks with this one. It's kind of just follow the road as best as possible. Yep. Okay, let's go. Shit. Uh, we'll keep going. That's not great, though. All right. It looks like we're going to get it first try, boys. Thank God I'm a good driver because th that could have been bad. There is the time trial or the HSW time trial completed. Another 250k in the bank up to level 10. Very, very good start to the video. Very pleased with that. Okay. Deposit that into the bank account. And next thing on the agenda is heading over to the bike time trial because that's an extra $50,000. We're going to be doing that every single day on this account or I'll try to do it every single day because it's very useful. And then we're going to be hitting up the diamond casino for a chance at the wheel spin now i know that's going to be a few minute time loss for the cutscene. however the option of having the diamond casino to do every day is quite useful we could win a vehicle from it we could win money from it i think it's worth the risk i was meant to do it yesterday as well i just kind of forgot after the mayhem that was the first attempt now i still have pretty low stamina so this might be difficult but we'll give it a shot no, no, what do you mean? What do you mean? What? How have I not got that checkpoint there? Are you kidding me? How have I not got that? You're having a laugh, mate. Absolute joker out here. <laughs> What's going on? That's ridiculous. That might have just ended the run, honestly. I also pressed jump there, by the way. I didn't just run into the uh, rail bar. I did press jump. It just it didn't let me. Cool. That ended the run. Great, great waste of time. Thank you, game, for not reading my button inputs. You bastard. And second time we completed it. There we go. 51,000 in the bank. Time to head over to the casino. It'd also be great if Maud and the treasure hunter boy would message me. It's kind of important to the series and what I'm doing today. Cutscene. Let's go. My favorite. Ugh. Why do I need to sneeze? Am I allergic to Tom or something? Ah, let's hope for, honestly, I just prefer $50,000. I think money is the most useful thing. Although I wouldn't mind a nice bike for a vehicle. So what are you going to give me? That's not helpful. I'm not buying anything. God damn it. Uh, it is on super autos to be fair. I could, oh, actually hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I actually might have a use for this. It, it might not be the most worth thing, but I think I'm going to use it anyways. I've actually never used a discount before, so I'm not exactly sure, but I'm assuming I can just go down here and I'm going to purchase myself the Bugassi Batty 801. Yes, I know it's 15,000. A 10% discount is going to be fucking nice nothing but i want it so instead of 15k it was 13 and a half what a what a great use of my money but the reason i want that is one for possibility of doing the regular time trials i think it's one of the best vehicles you can get for it but also it is much better than the other free bike i got in last on the last day i, I keep wanting to say last episode this is one video i then spent the next five minutes getting all the kills with my navy revolver which rewarded me with two hundred fifty thousand dollars into my bank account oh and i also killed a bounty target while i was at it there we go two hundred fifty thousand in the bank nice we've got the treasure hunt now for the other one, the other treasure hunt. And it is at some location. I do not know where that is at all. Um, but that's one challenge done. Only 24 minutes in. That's very good. We need to go over there, which is a little bit out of the way. I could actually request a Super Volito. A super, wait, I need to check if Super Volito is a, a plane. A helicopter, sorry. I don't actually remember. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Super Volito is a helicopter. I'm going to just go ahead and get that, actually. That makes much more sense. It is $10,000, which isn't too much at all. And I get a helicopter to traverse around on. A fast one at that. 
So if you're also doing a similar challenge to me, make sure to make use of the secure serve VIP, which you don't need to see your office for. Uh, and you can get one of these helicopters for 10K or a buzzard for 25K if you want that as well. It is definitely a smart business investment. Good thinking, Dan. Nice use of that big fleshy brain of yours. All right, there is the other treasure hunt started and we should be able to complete that very, very quickly. I will go to the bounty hunt first though. I do enjoy killing people in game. So like I said, I then went off to kill another bounty target and he did take me a while to find the sneaky bugger, but I did get him eventually. I then went off and completed the treasure hunt. There are three more clues and they show up on the mini map. So it's not too difficult to do. The annoying part was for some reason they decided to put the treasure at the very tip of the map, which when I'm doing a timed challenge is not ideal. And then I had to go all the way back to the city for my final bounty hunt. This game really hates me. It's you. There we go. Now, where is the treasure? I swear to God, if it's back up at Polito. It's back up at Polito. Uh, we'll just focus on this for now then. So to finish out the day, I got my 50 headshots with the golden revolver, then headed up to Polito Bay to pick up my new melee weapon, got 25 kills with that bad boy, and then... I was done. Well, for today, at least there's still so much for me to do. And just before the 60 minute mark, we have $1.2 million in the bank. Very successful day, if I don't say so myself. I'm gonna wait for the timer to hit one hour just because it looks nice. But that's a very good start to day two. Day three is when we're gonna start doing some of the DAX missions, not looking forward to that. And hopefully getting very close to 2.1 million, which is how much we need to buy the Kasatka. I am very bloody, aren't I? I thought it'd be fun to end off the episode like that. Why do I keep seeing episode? It's one video, Dan. God damn it. Okay, it is time for day number three of the seven day challenge. We are currently sitting on 1.2 million in the bank. And today we are going to be taking on the Dax missions. I know, what a surprise. They are very useful though, because they give you a lot of bonus money. Let's get into it. Now, as we are in the city, just before we get into the DAX missions, I want to see if we can do a, well, the bike time trials on Mount Chiliads, that's ages away, but we will stop by the casino very quickly, do a wheel spin, then head on over to get the mission started. Oh, and also before I do that, I should probably go ahead and buy something that is gonna be very useful today, which is the Duke of Death. This is free or very cheap if it's not for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy that because we're gonna be needing it in the DAX missions for sure. We should also buy some weapons because we have like like three pistols, which is not very useful. Okay, 20k, I'll take it. Give me them chips. Thank you. And then we'll set our spawn point at our other garage and just quick teleport over there. And there we have my Duke of Death. Let's get in that right away. And I'm going to hit up ammunition very quickly before we start the missions just to get a few weapons because it's going to be very necessary. Let's pick up some body armor, which apparently I can get 10 super heavy armor. Did they change that? We can just buy it. I thought you were meant to be a high level. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and buy some very basic weapons. I think the micro SMG. No, do we have the AP pistol? We do not. Okay, micro smg it is the special carbine for now we'll just get the pump shotgun though get a bunch of rounds and that should be good okay time to start the missions okay once again i have no snacks left which is a little bit concerning but we should be fine i've done this mission enough i even attempted to speed run it at one point and gave up very quickly ow ow, ow my bad okay with no snacks this is not going to be good at all shit Uh, lads, what are you doing? There we go. Mission one done in just over 20 minutes. Not too bad. And we get 20,000 for finishing the mission itself. And then I think we get a bonus 100,000 after that, if I'm correct. That's why I'm doing these missions to get the bonus money. So if I don't get it, I'll be a bit concerned. <laughs> 50,000, sorry, not 100,000. 100,000 when it's double money. 50,000 now, still pretty good. So we made 70K from that mission. Now I need to get some snacks. I don't know if there's a snack area in here. I'm gonna assume there probably is. They're doing drugs. Surely they need some food. They did not have any food. I then spent the rest of day three completing some of the DAX missions. Mission two, mission three, and mission four. I only need enough time to do all of those because, well, they take a while when you don't have like an oppressor. I would show you them, but I kind of forgot to commentate throughout the entire video. I've also shown these missions multiple times on the channel before, so if you want to go watch them, you can either watch my Road to Oppressor Mark II video or just my first dose mission video. Although I will show you this bit at the end because it did get a little bit tense. 
You'll see. Now, my friends, it's time to get high. It looks like we'll have time for this mission, but probably not the one after it. So after this mission, I'm going to just go hit up the Mount Shiliad time trial to get that done. And then that's the end of day three. Going pretty well so far. We need to complete this mission set next episode and then do some other things. You know what? 51 minutes in it. It's looking like I might not even be able to do the time trial on time. I really hope I can because it's 50k I'm losing out on, but uh, it's not looking great. I need to complete this mission in like six minutes or something and then quickly get over to Mount Shiliad as fast as possible. If it wasn't for the cutscenes as well, I would definitely be able to do it. The cutscenes just take so long. I reckon probably out of this hour long recording session, 15 minutes are probably cutscenes. Like genuinely. I'm trying to do this as quickly as humanly possible. Go, 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 go. Okay. That's the bike part done or the bicycle part done. If we can get this done before, I want to say 56 minutes, I think there's a very slight chance. I think the rule I'll make to myself is once I start an activity, I will finish it. So like if I start the time trial and it just goes just over an hour while I'm doing it, I'll allow myself to at least complete it. Unless I fail, of course. Of course, I won't use that rule for like big missions. Like I'm not going to start a massive like giant like 30 minute long thing right before the hour long timer. But for something like the time trial, it's like a minute long. I think I can give myself a bit of leeway. And if you think that's cheating, um, shut up. I right, want to this part now. It's like the third last section, I think. Now we're in backwards mode. I've done this so many times now, I just switch instantly. I, this isn't even difficult anymore. Not that it ever really was, but like it's second nature now, baby. And now we're free falling. No, the bunny thing first, right? Kill the rabbit. The rabbit. The rabbit? I still don't know to this day. Does killing the rabbit like actually matter? Do you have to do it or does it like, does it not? Someone tell me in the comments. Does, do killing these rabbits do anything for you or can you just keep running? I think what the goal is, is to get the rabbit to the finish line and every time you kill it, it goes further forward. That's what I'm assuming is happening, but like, I, I don't really know. Yeah, I think that's probably what it is. Like the more times you kill it, the further it goes forward, so the faster you complete the mission. That seems to be what it is. We should be done now. Cool. Now it's skydive. It looks like I'm going to be able to complete it before 56, but then I actually have to get to Chile then do the time trial and complete it first time without failing. So uh, yeah, that's going to be tough. So my goal is to skydive down as fast as possible, die, finish the mission, teleport over to my Sandy Shores location, go get a helicopter, drive out Mount Chiliad, and then hopefully complete it first time. And we have touchdown. Now we should get a phone call from Dax, finish that. And then we have a little bit of a delay, set my spawn location as the garage so I can teleport there instantly. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Do you have to delay for so long, man? Like, come on, finish the mission. I think it's because I'm supposed to be on the phone at this point still, but I, I don't care. Finish it. Oh, we're wasting time. Oh, I don't know if we're going to make it, boys. I don't know if we're going to make it. No, come on. Oh, finish thank you that took way too long okay we've just under four minutes to get to the time trial and like i said if i start it before the one hour mark i'll complete it that's the rule i'm giving to myself now i know there's an airfield here in grapeseed but i don't know if it always has a helicopter or plane there and i'm not taking the risk even though it would be fast if it does we're just gonna go this way this is a race against the clock like the whole video is but this part specifically it's tense get on get on we have Two minutes to get there. Two minutes to get all the way up there and start it. Oh God. I, oh, it's going to be close, boys. It's going to be close. And we have another 64K in the bank. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. I think we might just make it in time for one attempt at the time trial with 30 seconds to spare. Oh my God. Okay. I have one attempt. If I fail, I do not get the prize. Let's go. Oh, come on, guys. Did you really doubt me? Of course I got it first time. I'm great at these. Just don't watch my previous videos. And there is the finish. And there is the 52,000. I thought it'd be 51. I don't know why an extra thousand. But there we go. I did cheat a, a little bit at the end there, but you can forgive me, right? There's a lot of cutscenes. Like, it, it wastes a lot of time. Just let me have it. I started before the hour mark, and that's all that mattered. As you know, when you're playing, you can't pause. Well, you can't pause an online game, whatever the hell you want the saying to be. So at the end of day three, where you're currently sitting on nearly one and a half million dollars, we've completed four out of the six first dose missions, uh, and we're doing pretty well overall. I'll see you tomorrow, boys. Okay, so I was just about to log in to start day number four and this popped up on my screen. Congratulations, you have been awarded $500,000 for participating in Rockstar promotions. Now, the reason why I have this on my account is because I did the two-factor authentication through Rockstar. Basically, if you have a social club account, you can go ahead and put two-factor authentication on, which is basically just where you link your password to your phone. It doesn't really matter how it works, but basically whenever you do that with your social club account, you get $500,000 in GTA Online. And I did this because it's one of the fastest ways to get a lot of money without really doing much work and it gets us close to our goal very quickly. This is available for everyone that has a social club account, which you should have if you play GTA Online and has like a phone. So 
definitely do it. Okay, so with that, we are now up to 1.976 million. Pretty darn good. Uh, let me just switch to an invite only session. I can already hear explosions. Now, of course, we have the rest of the first dose missions set to do, but do we also have a bike time trial? Yes, we do, but it's down in the city. Okay, let's quickly switch to my the freak shop. We'll go ahead, do the bike time trial, then finish off the DAX missions. And then hopefully with that, we will have enough money to buy the cassette car after four days in GTA Online, which means we have three to complete the heist. That should be fine, right? In fact, we're quite close to the casino here as well. Let me go ahead and spin that wheel. Great, what a waste of my time. Okay, now quickly over to the bike time trial and then we'll get started with the missions. And easy. Okay, how much money are we going to end up with now? It looks like we're going to be just over 2 million and that actually gives me a little bit of an idea. So we have 2 million and 27,000. How much does the Kasatka cost? I don't remember exactly. Let me go ahead and check. 2.2. Okay, now we do have to do a DAX mission, God damn it. <laughs> Unless there's a way to very quickly get some money that I can't think of right now. You know what? Let me, let me try something. I was planning on just finishing the DAX missions today, which is a surefire way to get enough money for the Kasatka. Zadka, but I want to test myself a little bit. Instead of doing that, I'm going to go ahead and find G's cash, then do the stash house, then do the time trial, which I hope I can do on a bike that isn't fully upgraded, and then maybe do something else and see if I can get enough money that way. I know it's very unnecessary. I could just do the DAX missions and that would just get me the money. But hey, that's boring. Let's do something more fun, eh? Why do I say A like I'm Canadian? I've What? I don't know why I do that. I don't know why I do half the things I do. I just do them. I have no free will and neither do you. Ah, oh, okay. How much money are you going to give me? 15k. Not the most, but can I, can I move, please? Where's the camera? Why? <laughs> um, thank you. Jesus, why wasn't it letting me move? Now I want to get over to the stash house. I think because I don't have any businesses, this will just give me money. I believe that's how it works. So I'm just going to hope that is the case. And actually, while we're getting through there, let's hit up Solomon Richards, because if we do some of his movie prop delivery, we will also get a bit of money. We currently need about 160,000. So if we find like six props, I know where one, two, three are off the top of my head, I think. One of them's in the military base though, so that's not great, but I know where three of them are, so I can probably get them. Cool, we, we good. Give me the text message, let me leave. There we go, exit the office. Now there is one right around the corner here. Okay, there's one done. Thing is, this whole plan fails if I can't do the time trial, which is a bit of a concern, especially because the bike's not upgraded whatsoever. Uh, where's the note? Where's the note? Where's the note? 2-12-87. 2-12-87. 2-12-87. Cool. Now just get me away from here, and I'm hoping that I get money for this. 30,000. Amazing. Perfect. Let me put that in my bank just so I see how much I have to get now. I need 30. So I need three props, which I know where three props are. Fantastic. Even though I do know where three props are, I am actually going to search where some others are on Google because it might be useful to get a bit more money so I can upgrade my bike. That is the plan at least. So let's do that. Into the bathroom. There's number two. Okay, there's one in the strip club, one in the diamond casino, which I just got. Then they're basically all at the top of the map. Okay, I think I'll try and get like six so I can upgrade my bike enough then do the time trial. Then hopefully I'll be able to complete that. Then we can buy the Kasatka, then get started with the heist. Yeah, come on, get to it. Give me that thing. I don't know what it is. It's like a ball. There we go. Okay, next location is on the beam me up mural, which is that little like hippie area. Number four. And then the final one we're going to get before trying the time trial is actually, ironically, right next to the time trial. I think it's just like, well, like, I think it's here, actually. I didn't put a waypoint. That's great, Dan. Good time waste. Okay, number five, and that's probably all I need for now. So the time trial is here, and I will give it an attempt without any upgrades on the bike, although I don't really expect it to go that well. Um, if we can get it, that's perfect, though, because we can just basically start Kaya right away. Okay, that's not a good sign. This might be a time waste, but it's also a time save if I can manage it, so. I don't know if that's faster or not. I may have just made a huge mistake for no reason. Okay, this bend I have to be very careful about because it comes up very fast and you can very much go off it. We're good. Oh, it's going to be real close. Jeez. Oh, come on. Come on. Go! Let's go! First try! Okay, um, quickly back to Solomon Richards, sell that, and then we're on to Kaya Perigo, baby! My gamble may have paid off a little bit. I don't know if doing the Dax missions would have been faster. I don't think it would have been, because the next mission was the one with the, the Valkyrie at the Ultras camp and all the running around and everything. And I don't really have a rocket launch or anything, so I think this may have paid off. 
Let's go. Since I'm already near it, I might just hit up the casino first or the, the music locker. Do the cutscene to unlock the cassette and then go to Solomon. Hey, Rockstar, look how excited your happy customers are watching cutscenes. Yeah, I'm on TikTok. I, I, this is boring. Mm. Yeah, so I said I was going to be able to buy this by uh, the 30 minute mark. I forgot how f***ing long this cutscene is. This is horrible. Ah. That's my mating call, by the way. Hope you enjoyed it. Did she just say I'm wet? What the fuck? Uh, okay, let's head back out. Head over to Solomon of Richards' office. Give him the, the, the props and uh, buy the thing. We have five props to give in, which give us $50,000. There we go. Now we can go ahead and buy the Kasatka. Give me that. Buy. I don't care about anything else. I put the Scottish flag on for some reason. That's my bad. Oh, well. And here we are. 33 minutes in. Now it's time for another long cut scene. I love it. Okay, let's get started. Oh, I have to register as a boss. I always forget about that. Okay, start. No, let's... No, stop. Let, just, let me go. Please. Thank you. Okay, the rate this is going, I'll be very lucky to get even the scouting mission done by the end of this day. We're only like 23 minutes left, 22 minutes left, and we haven't even got to the airport yet. We still have to fly over there, do all the cutscenes, and then scout out the whole island. Yeah, this might take a while. And take a while it did. From the moment I started the mission to the point where I was able to leave the party and start doing the, you know, scoping mission, it was nearly 15 minutes. That's a long time of cutscenes and boring driving El Rubio around. Why? Oh, and then I got caught straight away as well. So not going too great. Oh my god, dude, come on! I like I know they have ears and can hear you, but seriously? F sake. Okay, yeah, I'm not completing it now. I had one chance. I had one chance to do that and now it's over. I don't know, where was the ATV? There's supposed to be an ATV next to that car as well, but it wasn't there. Why? Ah. <laughs> uh, well, my car's still there. I guess that's good. And while I could show you the rest of this setup mission, um, it's kind of pointless, as you'll see in day number five. Yeah, I wasn't very happy. There we go, over an hour, and we just hit the basement. I'll count it. I will count it. We have the primary loot, and then I guess, well, I'll just pause the timer now, do that, and then we gotta end it. I just I just hope I can come back to here and be fine. If you can't probably guess already, I was not fine. Okay, it is day number five and I am insanely tired because I have crippling insomnia. So if I'm a complete mess today, that is why. Now, I guess we just get right back into Kaya Perico and see if we can get all the setups done today. That's probably not gonna happen. If we can get like half them done today, half them done tomorrow, then finish the heist on day seven. Good, start timer in one. I don't know why I do shit like this. Okay, let's go. Last episode, we ended off finding the primary target. I'm hoping that that saved. Oh, the whole cutscene, dude. Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Nine minutes in and we're still on the runway. This is a massive waste of time. I've already done this once. All right, seems we're nearly finished with the, the cutscenes, but then we still gotta wait more time because this is a terribly designed intro to a heist one. It's not really, it's just annoying after you do it more than once. Finally, we can get into it now. Don't fail this time, Dan. Don't do it this time. You did it last time. You're a bit of an idiot. Don't do it this time. I was well hurt you. And I'm speaking to myself. Um. That's fine, I'm losing my mind slowly, quickly actually. This has been a quick 16 minutes to, to mental insanity. Okay, we're making up time. 20 minutes in and we're finally back to where we were at the end of last day. I was gonna see episode again. You know what I mean. There's the files, baby. Okay, from 21 minutes onward, we are making progress. <laughs> you love to see it. <laughs> so once the main target was scoped out, I completed doing everything else I needed to do for this heist. I went to the North Dock to complete the tutorial part that's necessary to do. I then went to the South side of the map to get the drainage tunnel entrance unlocked. And then I finally went to the airport to get the loot. If you haven't noticed already, there was one thing I sort of forgot. I, I kind of just missed getting the main dock as an entrance point, And you'll see this come to be a bit of an issue later. Now onto the setup missions. All right, starting off with the long fin. And I have to wait for Pavel to explain every single step. Great, more time waste. After shattering my control into a million pieces, I then went ahead and completed two setups, the long fin setup and the safe set up the one where you go to the diamond casino. I didn't have enough time for doing the others, or at least I didn't think I had enough time in this episode. So I did those and then just ended off the episode by doing another bike time trial. I know, crazy, right? Uh, I'll go spin the wheel and I'll go do the bike time trial. I don't think we have enough time to get another setup done within seven minutes. We are gonna get the 
Are you f kidding me? Okay, we made it in time for a single attempt and the time is a two minute 10 and par. So we will get over the hour mark if we complete it. Let's just hope we can. Oh, the low stamina is killing me. Come on, go. There's the finish. Easy. And with a bit to spare as well. There we go. The end of day number five. We have started the Kaya setups. We have four more to go. The three like equipment. And the, uh, I realized my hammer is not on the camera. Uh, bro, did I really just say my hammer is not on the camera? God, you can tell I was tired, can't you? Uh, but it's awkward doing this. I have three equipment and one weapons, and then we can do the heist. So hopefully by day seven, so in an hour, <laughs> I can start Sky Perico and finish it. Let's see. Okay, so we have two days left, which is two hours to complete the rest of the setups and complete the heist. Now, let's get started, shall we? I probably should actually put the timer on. That would make sense. Fingerprint cloner. Uh, where are we going? Where is our yacht as well? That's not a yacht. That's a submarine, you idiot. Okay, I need to move it. God damn it. Great start to the video already. I can't, I can't think. Not that I can usually. And to try and get a bit of time saved, instead of using the dinghy to always get to the land, I'm gonna just drive my submarine up to pretty much just the beach, I think over here makes sense. And hopefully that'll make things a little bit quicker. Bro, I'm on a road. What do you mean? How am I too far from, oh my, how am I too far from a suitable road? I am literally on one, you dickhead. Oh, this game sucks sometimes, man. Oh, now I can use it. Sick, dude. Great. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make use of this again. VIP vehicles, give me the Super Valito. It costs 10k, but it'll make, it'll make getting around much faster. I am so sorry. You kind of just walked into it, lad. No, Dan. No, he didn't. You just don't know how to fly a helicopter, like, at all. Or at least your coffee's fine. Okay. Are you serious? Come on, man. What is that? Oh, you're trying to be on my tits. God, no. What the hell? That should be fine there. Please be fine there. <laughs> okay, set up number two, three. Complete. I don't know. That setup is done. All right, cutting torch time. And the helicopter is good. You'll love to see it. Now, which construction site? The big one. Cutting torch collected. We're actually on an extremely good pace today. We should be done with this mission by 15 minutes. Then the weapons one, which if we get lucky, should be another five minutes max. We could honestly do the heist today. We might be able to do the heist today. I'm going to aim for that. If we can complete Kaiaprika by day six, then day seven, we can just chill. Buy the sparrow is probably my plan because that's kind of a logical thing to do. But then just vibe. Have a, have a good time. Maybe go to the strip club. Definitely go to the strip club. Schlongberg sacks. Honestly, anything except the Meriwether HQ is good. The Meriwether HQ sucks ass massively. It's awful. I don't know why they put that in the game. Give me them weapons, boy. Perfecto. Now, try not to get killed by the helicopters that will spawn. I really hope that doesn't happen, because then the loot gets, like, trapped up here, and you have to somehow get back to the roof. It's just, it's a whole mess. Oh, uh, he is right above me. Please get in, please get in, please get in. Go, go, go. All right, we should be good now. And I will probably just parachute out, because it'll be quicker. Perfect. So after 18 minutes of today's episode, we're ready to do the heist. Now, of course, there's going to be a lot of talking pr from Pavel because he likes to explain everything like I'm a child. But after that, we should be okay. We have 40 minutes, basically, give or take, to do the heist. I think we can do it, boys. I think we can. Yep, here we go. Here's the explaining. Great. Time to wait. Now, the issue that I completely forgot about is I didn't scope out the main dock. So we're going through the north dock, which means we definitely won't get the elite challenge. But at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. I'll just go around, get to the airport, then go. It's like, it is what it is. I probably should have gone back and scoped the main dock. I just kind of forgot. Don't roast me, please. All right, here we go. Uh, again, not going to get the elite challenge because I kind of fucked up a bit, but we should be able to complete the heist just in general. We have 40 minutes. Let's hope I don't fail. And I can skip that cutscene. Finally, it lets me skip a cutscene. Oh, thank you, Rockstar. You did something right for once. The Cayo Perico heist. Five hours and 20 minutes into this account, we are doing the biggest heist in GTA 5. Pretty good.
pretty good. Okay, this, what the, bro, what, <laughs> what was that? Is that how the entrance always goes? That's so stupid. All right, I need to not be stupid this time. Don't beach the boat. Do not beach the boat. It shouldn't be that difficult. If it, if it floats back out to the ocean, it's fine. Just do not break it for the love of God, Dan. Do, don't be special for once. No, 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 no. Just put it there. That's fine. That is good enough. Why are you diving, brother? What, <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, we have two sets of cash here. I don't know if that's going to be enough in terms of secondary loot, but we'll give it a shot anyways. And we do have the other location scouted as well, so that will be fine. Oh yeah, that is nowhere near enough space. I mean, nowhere near enough loot. We're going to have to go to the other place, guarantee. That is awful. What was that? Like 20%? That's terrible. <laughs> okay, second bit of loot coming right up. Oh, brother, what are you doing? Just going to take this very, very slowly. There's no need to rush. Perfect. Into the secondary loot location. And we will get that ganja. Hopefully that'll be enough. If not, we got some cash here as well. And then off to the compound. We're looking good for time. 35 minutes remaining. As long as I don't monumentally screw myself over continuously, we should be good. Okay, we still need a bit of cash. Jeez, this has been a long looting session. Cash is really garbage, isn't it? There we go. 379,000. Not the most in the world, but we're not really caring about the money. We care about the accomplishment. And my boat has really drifted out to sea. Good lord, brother. What are you doing going that far? The boat looks pretty scary. Scratched up. Please work. Oh, thank God. Okay, off to the compound. Don't worry about me, sir. I'm doing nothing suspicious whatsoever. Okay, compound time. Let's not mess this up, please. I think I've learned from my mistakes enough times now that I should be able to do this first try. Um, we hope. Where's your rebreather gone, mate? You're just wearing it. What? All right, let's go. I'm really scared I'm going to get hurt here. I, just, I don't want to mess up. I really don't want to mess up. Eee, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I'm waiting for that guard on the right to now to get away. Because he's kind of in my way. And now the guard on the left is in my way. God damn it. I'm wasting so much time. Oh, I hate this though. I hate this. I hate this. All right. Three. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, into the basement. 135692. 135692. 135692. 135692. There we go. Files collected. And now time to escape. And just like that, we are out of the compound. Let's go! Oh, hype. Hype, 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 hype. I'm finally good at Kayo. Uh, my guy doesn't know how to open the f door still though. God damn it. Okay, now we just got to get that motorbike and jump off the island and we are home free with 20 minutes to spare in, in on today. Let's go. And just like that, Kaya Perico is done. Or well, pretty much at least. Come on, give me the end screen. There we go. Let's go. Day six, Kaya Perico completed. An hour and a half left to spare to do whatever I desire. So the strip club. Now, I don't think I got the elite challenge. I think I might be like a minute too slow because I spent obviously a long time going around the whole island and then I kind of waited at the shooty position for a while on the stairs. So I reckon my time was about 16 minutes, 16 and a half minutes, but I guess we'll see. Just gonna wait for another cutscene. Lovely. Okay, moment of truth. Did I actually manage to get the elite challenge? I don't think I did, but we'll see how close we are. Oh my god. Oh my god, we actually got it? No way. 14 minutes and 30 seconds, full loot bags, no hacks failed. Elite challenge on Kaya Perico finished within five and a half hours on a new account. So that is pretty darn good if I don't say so myself. And I do say so myself because it is good. Please praise me. $1.5 million in the bank. I don't know if that's enough to buy the Sparrow. I don't remember how much it is. It might be like 1.6 or something, but it's pretty darn close. And we can definitely make enough money in the next hour and a half if that's what we want to afford. Or we could buy something else. It's really up to me. Why does the cigarette keep bouncing? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, let me check if the Sparrow is 1.6 million because I do think it is a worthy investment. Personally, I think it's a very good thing to buy quickly. And can I? Nope, it's 1.8. Okay, but I have 2.2 million in the bank. I'm assuming the 2.2 million is because when you do Kaya Perico for the first time, you get bonuses, which I always seem to forget about. So with the 2.2 million, I guess we just go ahead and buy it, right? It's very useful to have, unless there's something else that I should invest in that makes way more sense. First of all, let's change the flag. Moonpool Vehicles Sparrow, 1.8 million. Yeah, what? The video is over next day, next hour. We only have an hour left. We ain't gonna do much. Let's just get it. Why not? Why not get the Sparrow? Now, what else can we do for 
the rest of the day. We could do a little bike time trial, which I will happily go ahead and uh, do. Okay, junk energy time trial, one minute 50 par time, should be easy enough. Easy as. There's one thing I want to check because I don't remember how much money you need to get missiles on the Sparrow. I have just over five or I have just under 500,000. So I don't know if that's enough. I, I feel like it's 600,000 for some reason. And if it is, then we'll have to grind a bit of money to get that upgrade, which is quite crucial to the usefulness and capabilities of the helicopter. All right, Sparrow, what do we need to make you a bit spicier, my boy? Uh, weapons? 240. Okay, perfect. That's nothing at all. Still over 200,000 left, but we have a weaponized helicopter helicopter to help us with missions. I am taught oh, this, this day has been very, very effective. Why the hell am I here? Whatever, let's fly into the city. Now off the top of my head, is there anything else I want to buy for the rest of today? Oh, yes, there is. This week, MC clubhouses are on discount. So if we go into Foucault's, you know what I mean, and go over here to this, we can get it for 237,000, which I have enough for. Fantastic. That will help us because we can call in bikes quickly. That's about it. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's a nice business to get started with. Uh, unfortunately, we are broke again, although that is kind of the running gag on this channel, so not too bad. I didn't actually expect to finish Kaya Parika so early, so I didn't really have a plan for the rest of this day. I ended up just finding G's cash, which, yes, did take me nearly seven minutes, don't judge me. Sometimes I really wonder how I, I've survived 20 or two years. And then the rest of the day was just a bit of a mess, but here's the best moments. I want to go off that jump. It's calling my name. <laughs> I shouldn't have listened to it. Uh, you know what? I can check out the motorcycle clubhouse tomorrow. Who cares about that? Let's go to a, let's go to a real gentleman's club. I think you know what I'm talking about. And you know, since we're going to such a classy establishment, I think we need to look the part. So let me just stop by the clothing store. Shut up and and dress for the occasion. I would say. Perfect. Hello, good sir. There's a woman on the stage. Get me out of here. My disappointment is immeasurable. Where are the boys at? GTA 6 needs to have a male strip club. Otherwise, I'm not playing. That's a promise. Welcome to day number seven of this challenge, whatever I'm going to call it. And at the end of day six, we managed to complete Kaya Pariko, buy ourselves a Sparrow helicopter, and basically complete the goal I set myself for this video. Uh, we have a whole hour left. So what do we do? I could just mess around and waste my time, but I will stay true to the, the goal of the series of trying to be efficient. So I'm going to try to complete act one of the uh, the first dose missions. I mean, I just mean, the, you know what I mean? I'm going to complete the last first dose mission. What am I even trying to say? Uh, so let's start the timer because clearly I can't explain things well. So let's just go ahead and show you. Show not tell, right? That's basic storytelling. I'm really bad at doing this stuff, man. I am on two hours sleep again because I have insomnia, at least mildly. So that doesn't help. First dose number five, make war, not love. Now, personally, I like to make both... Oh, I give up, man. <laughs> okay, first order of business, kill the hippies. That should be everyone's first order of business uh, on, the, on a daily life. I'm joking, I don't discriminate. Oh, God damn it. I didn't want to go that far. <sighs> I don't have a parachute. I don't have a parachute. I don't have a parachute. They were right. They were right there as well, man. God damn it. I'm so stupid. <laughs> There we go. I amaze myself sometimes, honestly. As it was the final day, I wanted to try my luck just one last time at the wheel spin, and hopefully we wouldn't get closed this time. Please don't let me get closed this time. Hey, let's go! Day number seven looking good! We got the Electro. Like, it's not that good of a bike, but I'll take a free vehicle. You love to see it. Okay, let's do missions and not use it. <laughs> All right, final first dose mission. Let's see how we do. And once again, I kind of just forgot to commentate this entire mission, but I'm sure you guys can forgive me. This was a seven day video. I barely slept like at all throughout the whole week because insomnia. And I've also shown this mission on the channel so many times. So you kind of get the point, but it was successful. And that's all that really matters. After that was done, I also went ahead into the acid lab setup mission as this will be useful if we decide to continue this account. More on that later. And then I went ahead and purchased an upgrade to my MC clubhouse, specifically the that gives you access to selling motorbikes similar to the auto shop. 
I kind of just had leftover money and didn't know what to do with it. So I thought this was somewhat of a worthy investment. All right, we have a minute and a half left. Let's see if we can do this in time. Quickly, 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 quickly. Once again, racing against the clock for something that's very insignificant, but I still want to do it. You know what? We only missed it by a few seconds as well, so not too shabby. And finito. Sorry for day seven being a bit lackluster. I am extremely, extremely tired. I, I barely have the energy to speak, but there we go. The first bike service delivery mission done, $160,000. So after seven days of playing a one hour a day in GTA Online, we have bought the Kasatka, completed the Kayapurico heist, gotten the Acid Lab and completed the first dose missions, bought a motorcycle clubhouse, bought the motorcycle customization thing, done one delivery mission, done some HSW time trials, won a vehicle with a wheel spin and everything else. I think that's a pretty darn successful week in GTA. So if you guys have restrictions in terms of the amount of time you can play, whether it's because of work, school, strict parents, or something else, this just proves that with only one hour a day, you can do pretty well in GTA Online. And probably a lot better if you're better than me. So, um, I hope you enjoyed.